One year ago yesterday, we invited the Madison Community Foundation here on Live at 4 to help kick off their 75th anniversary celebration. They call this year the Year of Giving, and each month, President Bob Sorge would come here on Live at 4 to announce a major gift to a nonprofit in our community. The year wraps up tonight with a big celebration and the announcement of the 12th and final grant, which is promised to be the mm -hmm. biggest one yet. Diane Bolweg, a member of the board chair for the Madison Community Foundation joins us from Monona Terrace. Hi, Hi Diane. Diane. Good to see you. How are you? Great. Very Good well. to hear from you. Yeah, <laughs> we're looking forward, to, Mark and I are looking very forward to coming down there later tonight. Tell us a little bit about what the idea was behind this year of giving for the Community Foundation. Uh, well, that is our main job, is giving back to the community and helping it grow, making positive changes. So when we were looking at celebrating our 75th anniversary, that was the big theme, is how can we give in a more meaningful, impacting, and uh, fun way to celebrate our 75th anniversary. There's a, a, so many, so many nonprofits in Dane County. How did you decide which 11 and eventually 12 got the grants? <laughs> It's a long, long process. It took over a year to uh, weed through a lot of very creative and very good ideas. I know what you mean because there's 4,200 nonprofits in Dane County. That's a lot. We have a very um, high per capita amount of nonprofits. So what we tried to do is a variety. So one thing was looking at the diversity of the impact. Um, another thing was how could we collaborate so that maybe some of the grants um, and I can think of several that would be impacting to various nonprofit groups or efforts. Um, and it just took a lot of uh, crushing through the list. And I think we, we finally arrived at things that people were really excited about. One of the uh, grants was awarded to help promote biking in the Madison community. And that was a, a absolutely huge success. Tell us a little bit about that one. Um, yes, they took bikes, and uh, you'll see tonight when you're here, we have quite a bit of uh, video footage of kids that were riding bikes, and they were learning how to take care of bikes and fix bikes. We have bike stations that are mobile stations that go around town that can help kids fix their own bikes and put air in the tires. Um, the number will be on the video tonight, but hundreds, literally hundreds of bikes that were gathered and given to kids that don't have bikes and fixing lots of bikes that were already owned. Another, that was a fun project. Another interesting one was taking the fallen ash trees in the city and turning them into furniture. Yes, there is also one of the pieces of furniture here, um, and you will see video footage of desks and chairs and shelves and cabinets that were made with the ash trees. And it's lovely, it's amazing um, artistic work that they put together. Well, the big announcement coming tonight, the biggest grand yet. We will have coverage on that coming up on News 3 at 10, and Susan and I will be there to help you guys Good. kick things off. Diane, we're heading down there right after our show is Good. over, so we'll see you soon. Um, Thank you so much for joining us today. Okay, beautiful day. Thank you. It was an exciting year. Yeah, it went really by fast. Was. It's so great to share some good news, yep, you know, about things that are really making a difference in the community. And they it's certainly really have. All right, we'll be